Buffalo Bills played the Chicago Bears today. Caleb Williams looked pretty impressive in his limited stop time. Josh Allen again tried playing hero ball, and then at the end of the quarter, Don McDermott said, okay, time for you to leave. Bills got absolutely blown out today. It was a bad game. It was a horrible game as Buffalo only scored six points all on the field goal from Tyler Bass, who looked pretty good uh, kicking the field goals. He did not look good on the kickoff as the Bills, for the most part, just kicked the ball to the back of the end zone, which made absolutely no sense for them to do because the new kickoff rules. But then again, it, I don't think Sean McDonald and head football coach, so you got to wait and see what happens with that. I'm hoping that Sean McDermott learns his lesson. It was 33 points for the Bears, 6 for the Bills, and Bears started with a field goal. Williams engineered a scoring drive. It was a pretty good drive, and he went 10 plays, 68 yards in 5 minutes. The Bills, 6 yards in 5 plays. Not great. Then Williams came back out, engineered a scoring drive. 74 yards, got a touchdown or got a field goal out of it. They go up six nothing. Second quarter, Bills do a 20 play, 73 yard drive that started in the first quarter. Uh, Tyler Bass field goal, then the Bears punted, then the Bills punted. Punt, end of half, not much happened. Bills punt, touchdown, Bears. Field goal, punt, touchdown, Bears. Punt, 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 touchdown, Bears. Turnover on downs, touchdown, Bears. Punt, end of game for negative one yards, where the Bears just kneel on the football. Williams looked really good. Now, there was an incident in the first quarter of the game that was really interesting to me, where a play basically got blown dead, and one of the Bills' defenders decided to do a very severe late hit, which ended up injuring the player. And there were several injuries in this game on the offensive side of the football for the Bears that made me think that the Bills might actually... Um, be having a bounty. I've been talking about this for a while. Ever since the playoff game uh, against Baltimore, where Lamar Jackson went out with the, uh, the concussion. So it's one of those things where I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, yeah, this makes sense that the Bills might have a bounty program. And I hope I'm wrong about this, but uh, on top of that, the Bills just went out there and looked flat. But the thing is, it wasn't supposed to be a game where you know, a lot of stuff was supposed to happen. It was one of those things where it was just like, go out there, see who can compete. And some of the uh, some of the guys, some of the guys could compete. Mitch Trubisky did not look good. Um, fine. Um, Josh Allen looked all right. The receivers are looking pretty good. Hopefully, Allen and the receivers can get some chemistry going in uh, training camp. And over the next two weeks uh, before the first regular season game, it's because there is literally only one wide receiver, and a couple of tight ends, and a couple of running backs on the team that have caught a pass from Allen in the regular season before. Since good yeah, overall, it was an interesting game to see. Not much to talk about because it's preseason. Um, I'm probably planning on going to be doing games for these, uh, or doing games like this for the Mariners, like I do for the Mariners. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. Like, because football's gotten weird. Football has gotten really weird. 